For many people, getting out in front of thousands of strangers is the stuff of nightmares. But for those who work in marketing, it's an absolute dream. If you're happy to fork out a little bit of the cold hard cash to Facebook, then boosting posts can result in a pretty huge increase in results, not to mention all the potential new faces seeing your posts for the first time. Hi, I'm Ben, and today we're going to be talking about boosting posts on Facebook. So hang around for this week's Giant Wednesday. So let's start with the basics. What does it mean to boost a post on Facebook? Well, boosting a post on Facebook helps you to expand your audience beyond the people who already like your page. This gives you the opportunity to get in front of people who are outside of your immediate following and potentially get the social snowball rolling. Boosting will give you the chance to use inbuilt targeting options to make sure that your post isn't just going out to anyone. Instead, it will reach people who are more likely to be interested in what you're offering. What is the difference between boosted posts and Facebook ads? Great question. Boosting a Facebook post is all about boosting something that currently exists organically on your timeline. It helps give your post a new lease of life, getting it in front of new people quickly and easily. When boosting the post, you'll simply be asked who you want to reach, your budget, and how long you want the ad to run for. However, when you set up a Facebook ad, you'll open yourself up to more options in terms of selecting ad placements, objectives, creative control, advanced targeting, and more. Which path to pick is very much down to the objective of your ad and, realistically, how much time you have. But you should know that you can boost Instagram posts too. And luckily for you, we've covered that before. If you want to set up a Facebook or Instagram ad with a full range of audience targeting options, formats, and other advanced extras, then you'll want to set that up on Facebook Business Manager. However, if you have a smaller budget, want to get things set up quickly, or you just want to get a few extra eyes on your posts, then boosting posts are the one for you. Okay, so now into the nitty gritty. That sounds so posh doing that. How to boost a post on Facebook. Now I'm assuming you've already got a Facebook page set up and have page role controls to advertise. If not, get that sorted first. But if you do, then follow these steps. Head on over to your Facebook page, find the post you want to boost. This might be a job post, an event, a video, a discount code, and then select boost post, which you'll find at the bottom of your post. Fill in the following details. Goal, what results would you like from this ad? Messages, views, calls, audience. Choose either a recommended audience or create a new one based on specific traits such as interests or demographics. Total budget, Select a recommended budget or provide your own depending on how much you want to spend. Have a little play here because a little can get you a long way with the right targeting. Duration. How long do you want your ad to run for? Placement. Would you like your boosted post to show on other meta products like Instagram and Messenger? Still for this word saying meta. Payment method. Review what's already set up or update your details as you need. Select boost and let it work its magic. See? Easy peasy. Your boosted post will be subject to review to make sure it follows Meta's advertising policies. Sometimes that can take a little bit of time, up to 24 hours, so just make sure you keep that in mind. And that's that. Your boosted post will be boosted, appearing in the feeds of your tailored audience and helping you generate more views and more engagement. You can monitor the success of your boosted post within the post analytics, deciding whether to push more budget to it or pause it entirely. So go forth and boost and let us know how it goes. If you have any questions, then pop a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more great digital themed content. This has been Giant Wednesday. I've been Ben and thank you for watching.